Alright guys, it's time to review Dragon Ball Super Episode 6. And if I told you guys this before, I've told you it a thousand times. Don't count Dragon Ball Super out because this episode was fantastic. Absolutely, 100% fantastic. I really like the way how they expand upon the whole idea of the birthday party and they actually show what everybody's doing. So, anyway, basically be it. This week's episode begins with, um, Goku basically getting over getting his ass beat by Bills and King Kai telling him, you need to go up one of birthday party so I so I can get my plan back in order. And then dear pain me through all this stress, you're gonna kill me. And then Goku says, but you already died a long time ago. And then that gets King Kai all mad. And then he basically makes Goku sit down. And then unfortunately that the last we see of our main man for the rest of the episode. But not giving it Vegeta handles this episode beautifully. Um we get we get to see a lot of the the backstory of how how uh, he first met Lord Bills. Um when I him and we came the plan of Vegeta to um basically find the com the most comfortable pill Oh, in the universe, and King Vegeta's like, oh yes, yes, yes. We've given you all we have. The 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 bells we have are beautiful. Why don't you try those? And then Bills is like, I know you have the most comfortable pillow ever. You've used it for yourself. And if I don't get it, I'm just going to have to kill somebody. And and then here's where the episode start has the end of seriousness to it. Um, King Bills is the one that actually kills King Vegeta in this version, not Frieza. So that that that's a plot was right there. If I don't know what is, um, and then that that's how Vegeta remembers. Weave when he builds and weave when he receives them on Boma's birthday ship. And then Vegeta, Boma says, Oh, Vegeta, aren't you going to introduce him? I'm surprised you got friends. And then, I, again, I really like how they expanded on the actual process of having the birthday. Because in Battle of Gods, it felt like the birthday party was a bit rushed. Um, it, it was all about getting to that main fight with Goku. I, I understand that completely. I want more. But, it would then be really nice to see them progress through the full birthday party. Um, Bills and we actually took the time to say hi to everybody. Um, before Bills and Weez even came in, Master Roshi was being his own, own retarded per, pervert self looking at girls. And, and we, we get to see something really cool, but funny really. We had to get to see Yamcha tr try and tell Bills that he's the best fighter there. Oh Yamcha, come on man. And then, something else really funny is, at one point in the episode, Goten and Trunks are playing with water guns, and they accidentally get Bills wet with one, and then Vegeta, and then Bills powers up, and then Vegeta's like, oh shit, and then he's like, it's okay, and then basically powers up, Get this big huge octopus out of the sea, fries it up in the sushi, because Grona made this 
Hey, I gave that build. That was amazing. And that sounds like Emma Malkybine. And to wrap, to wrap everything up here, we still do get the fight with Majin Buu and Bills at the end of the episode over the pudding. But instead of just throwing Buu into the waterfall, like in Battle of Gods, in this, Bills literally tosses Buu around a few times, throws them into the ocean, then fires in there energy blast them and from what I could see kills them asshole so um and then the gene is like we're dead it's over and then that's how the episode ends so overall guys I really like how they expanded upon how the bur how the birthday party progressed just a great episode in general and next week it Next week's episode, it looks like we're going to get more action. So prepare yourselves for that. And until then, just keep getting hyped and keep on rocking. Yeah.